Hello friends! Good afternoon! Anong Japanese? What is uh, the Nihongo of uh, good afternoon? <laughs> Ding! Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa desu! <laughs> yes, so we thank the Lord for another afternoon <laughs> in our lives and uh, reviewing from my uh, previous vlog of um, the vlog about my cousin Visan as you notice uh, we mentioned um, Filipino term that uh, we will talk about today it is tricycle when Visan's wheelchair was still small it can still fit the tricycle their old tricycle So, it is a uh, popular uh, means of transportation in the Philippines, uh, especially in the rural areas. You know, uh, the tricycle, it's uh, very funny because um, for me, especially living in the barrio, they call in the countryside, we have a lot of this um, uh, tricycle. And um, the feeling when you're riding a tricycle is very, very personal because you have the chance to talk to the driver like ma eh taga saan ka like where are you from especially when the ride is so long so you have to ask many many things from the driver or sometimes you can even request the driver to bring you on the say uh, on the exact place of your house like they, we call also the philippines door to door delivery and uh, sometimes you can even tell to the driver please wait for me Parang you can ride on the same tricycle for example when you're going to the grocery and then coming back just let the tricycle so it's a very very a nice means of uh, of transportation i believe in the philippines and um, this is in comparison, for example, here in Japan, um, we have a different uh, form or means of transportation, such as uh, we have discussed previously in our vlogs, we're using buses, um, we are using uh, cars, or we are using bicycles, or um, we are using broom, 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 motorbikes. So, the tricycle is, um, as I mentioned, is a very unique uh, form of uh, transportation in the Philippines. And uh, it's also a close uh, transportation. It's a transportation to my heart. Why? Because as you notice, um, the photo that was shown uh, previously, is, uh, th that photo is our own, very own uh, tricycle. And uh, our tricycle is uh, quite, not quite, but it's already old. I mean the motor itself. Because the tricycle has a motor and that's why it has the three and ad additional more, the sidecar. That's why it's called tricycle and it has three, three wheels also. And our um, tricycle is um, the, our form of uh, service as we call like a private service when we were uh, growing when we were growing back in the Philippines and uh, you know um, now still that tricycle is, is still with uh, my father in the Philippines and actually he never want to sell it even we tell that uh, you can upgrade to so a, a better version of the tricycle but he said no 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 why why uh, we can uh, support it and no it, you don't understand it's it's the, those memories it's the sentiments that le was left in the tricycle okay then i shut my mouth oh, no. <laughs> and uh, yes i mentioned two words sentiments and memories and uh, these two words um, I believe is uh, very much related to the Filipino culture especially sentiments and memories regarding or related to the uh, Filipino family and uh, the Philippines is uh, a family oriented um, country as most or if you don't know it is and um, we are very much close to our families 
back home and even when we're abroad, usually contact them. So there's a big uh, bond to our families here. Um, I think it's something that we are proud of and I am proud of, of as a Filipino people. And uh, I mentioned that my father did not want to sell it or upgrade it because of those sentiments and memories left on that tricycle. So, one, one, maybe slowly I'll share to you those memories that was left on the tricycle. So, when my mother was still alive, as I mentioned in my previous vlogs, that my mother already died. I want to share you that uh, my mother died nine year, when I was still nine years old. And, you know, 20 years looking back, I could have not reached this point without that challenge. And it's the same today. Um, that tricycle was used when we were going to shop, when we were still young, going to shop in the palenque, in the market, and also going to school. And also, when the times that she was sick, it was also this tricycle that was used for using the going to the hospital and uh, this tricycle is the same tricycle um, that brings us to many many uh, places that uh, brought uh, many memories as a family and up until we finish my sister and me finish university the tricycle was still uh, a witness of everything that was happening in the, our lives as a family. And even until now that I went to Japan and sometimes going home for travel to the Philippines, we still use the same uh, tricycle. So, more than a tricycle, more than a material thing, now I understand that it's those sentiments or the memories that was left there that my father did not want to <laughs> give up. And uh, I understood that uh, this tricycle is not just uh, any material thing but already been part, <laughs> like part of our family. And so, um, there are things that uh, this um, form of transportation and my father taught me in life. And that's why I think uh, these values are those that are bringing me still here in different places wherever I go and I keep very close to my heart. This tricycle, and of course my father, taught me one simplicity. Simplicity in life. Like, uh, you know, when you have, in Philippines, when you have the tricycle, it's like, oh, we're just in the normal mode <laughs> of living. And, uh, like, uh, you know, as compared to a car, like for, for me, when I have the car, like, oh, rich. But this tricycle is, when you see, it's just very, very simple. It can go to the barrio and everywhere. It's very fit. And this is also like my father, a very, very simple person. And he teach me and taught me to be like that to be low profile that's why i continue to keep that in my heart number two um this tricycle and my father also taught me the sense the attitude of also gratitude as i also mentioned in some of my vlogs that important that value the importance of that value gratitude one of the most important is to become grateful, grateful, gratitude. Like to be thankful of the many blessings. And this one of the blessings, this tricycle, not everyone can have the chance to have a service and it's a private service. And it's very funny, as you can see, like this tricycle has our names. Actually the GRL and the RRL stands for my name and my sister's name. <laughs> and every day that my father is thanking for the gratitude and appreciation of life and number three finally is humility like um, everything is 
um, not our own, it's just being lent by someone up above. And so, yeah, we remain uh, simple and we thank the Lord and we're very much humbled because it's not ours but we use it to serve other people. Yes, you know, many people already ride in that in that, um, in that tricycle, <laughs> many, many people. So, yes, now um, I support also to be the tricycle and to be sentiments and memories because we will never forget. This is something that I really learned in life that even if you become very, very successful in life, never forget the road that you took before reaching that point. And up until now, I'm keeping that sense of thinking. To never forget where I came from, my roots. And I can never be where I am without these places, without these people, without these values and attitudes that kept me here. So thank you so much. I hope you keep this in mind. Simplicity gratitude and humility for me are values that you must live by.